Hey guys, what's up? Sam here with another unboxing of the Samsung Note 5. Now, let us see what the Note 5 has to offer. out and this one is actually the sprint edition Once you start this up with your Sprint SIM in there or any other SIM, it's going to start its hands-free activation setup. Now this can be a pain if you're like me and you bought a Sprint device but you're in another country and it just won't work. So this video will show you how to bypass this, okay? Now. To boot this up the normal way, what you're going to do is remove the SIM card and then we're going to root the phone to be able to delete a particular file in there. So just pop it out, put it back in, hit restart. Now there it is. It comes up pretty fine once there is no SIM in there. Let's just check what version of Android we're on. As you can see it's 5.1.1. Let's go ahead and activate the developer setting. Turn those on, turn that on. Let's go ahead and root this baby. Okay, now to start the root, all you need to do is turn the phone off and enter the download mode. So power off. Entering the download mode is pretty simple. Just hold the volume down button, center home, and the power button. Volume up to continue. Connect the phone to the computer via the USB cable. Okay, the version of Odin that I'm using is version 3.10.6. Now just right click, run its administrator. You should see the COM port in blue right here. Just tap on AP, find the kernel, click open, then start. And it's as easy as that. Now to test if it has root, what I did was download root checker. And there you go, root. To get rid of that annoying message, what you need to do is have a root explorer. And you're going to delete a particular file. So scroll down to system. And that, and you're gonna scroll down to PRIV APP. Scroll down until you find, uh, let's see, it's 
Sprint Android extension too. Now you're going to place this in another folder just to back it up. So hold down, click copy. You can put it wherever. I normally put mine in the download folder. Just go ahead and copy it right here. Then you're going to go back and delete it. Scroll down again, system. Hold down and delete it. Now, after that, just restart. I'm going to put the chip back in. So I'm going to put the SIM card back in and we'll see if that annoying message pops up. Let's play around and see if it pops up. Okay, so there you have it, it works. Before it would just retry forever and not work. It's working fine. The SIM is still inside. Uh, it says flow, that's a network here. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Now that's how you fix that problem.